Hey guys, what is up? It's me, Lori from Diori, and today we are playing Exo. And thank you so much for recommending this to me. I really appreciate that. And if you guys want me to play like a new series, another series, then you guys can always comment down below and I'll take that into huge consideration. So let's hurry up and just get this thing started. Mommy? Mommy? <laughs> Answer me. Why won't you answer me? Hey, there's a survivor here. It's a young girl. Don't worry, you'll be fine. We came to save you. Huh? Who's that? Are you a survivor? There was a young boy standing near a river. I could barely see his face. You must be that boy. Were you the one who did this? This is the end. After this, it'll all be over. He ended his sentence with a smirk before jumping into the river. Okay, what just happened? I'm Essie. I can't remember how many times I've woken up from that strange dream. I only know that it's connected to my childhood memory, a memory I can hardly recall. Every day, I live my life as a normal junior high student. There are times I forget how things used to be, yet my past never stops haunting me. You must be Essie, huh? Who are you? My name is Yuan. I am the student of X Institute. Yeah, since I can't pronounce that, and I don't want to butcher the pronunciation, I'm just gonna call it X Institute. Sounds better. You must have heard that name before. It's rather well known school in this area. Yeah, it's famous, uh, in a bad way. Murder cases, mysterious disappearances, alien sightings, just to name a few. I don't know how this school is still open. You are right. Those rumors are not too far from the truth. Earlier this month, our school's principal was murdered, and the head of the science department mysteriously disappeared. I would like to hire you to investigate it. I'm just a normal junior high school student. Shouldn't you go to the police or some private investigators? You are not a normal student. I know you have a special abilities that you try so hard to hide. I need you to use them. Wait, what? How did you know? I have my ways. Sorry, I neither have the obligation nor the desire to help you. Yes, you do. X note. Oh my gosh, I just love it when they include, like, the title of the game inside the actual game itself and they, like, talk about it. It's just great. Maybe I'm just weird and no one else thinks that, but, you know, I'm me. That is the name of a special folder left by your mother. Come to X Institute if you wish to unlock that folder. The sudden visit of this mysterious man forces open a gate to my past and changes my life forever. Yes, I love these videos. They always get me pumped. Essie. That's Yuan. And that's Oru. And that's Anon. Hopefully I'm just not butchering their names. Innocence. Will I still be the same person once I uncover the truth? Determination. How long can I struggle with everything before I believe? Dude, this is quick longing. Dreaming is the only thing I can do. Insanity. Is the only way for me to remain sane in this crazy war world. Oh my gosh, the text just came fast. Also, I just wanted to say I love the art. 
I'm so pumped for this game. Directed by Mirage. Art and story by Mirage and Mitaru. I'm sorry if I butchered the names. X Note, Chapter 1 The Institute. My mother died 10 years ago in a car accident. However, the case was never filed under accident. Instead, it was filed under murder. I didn't understand the, why the police chose to do so since they never identified the murderer nor presented evidence proving it was on purpose. Mother gave me a necklace before the incident. Two years ago, I discovered that the necklace was actually a USB flash drive. Inside was a locked folder called Xnote. Day 1, Sunday, November 1st. I knew you would come. Welcome to X Institute. Hmm. You aren't lying, are you? You may not know this, but your mother was one of the four founders of X Institute. Huh? If her accident was truly a murder, then this school is your only clue. I suspect the recent murder and the mysterious disappearances are connected as well. Hmm. Do you have any questions for me? Are you related to this case too? What makes you think so? You know so much, yet you reveal so little. I don't feel comfortable helping you like this. I want to know more. Tell me anything you know. I will tell you everything. But before that, you need I need you to enroll to the school. Huh? An outsider cannot enter the school. For you to be able to walk around freely, you must be a student. I have brought all the necessary documents. You will be an ex-institute student in no time. W wait a second. Yes? I don't remember agreeing to anything like that. What about my current school? You can forget about that. I can just forget about it? Oh, okay. Thanks, Yuan. How much longer do you intend to pretend that you are a normal person? An ordinary school does not suit me. But a school that has murders, disappearances, does suit me, I guess. Thanks, Yuan. He left without explaining further. But I still have so many questions. How did he get all of my information? How did he know about my ability? How is he able to transfer me from my current school? He somehow had managed to avoid answering any of them. It's no use thinking about it now. Might be a good idea to familiar myself with the school in the meantime. Let's see. Let's go to the computer lab. This is the computer lab. It seems like anyone can access it. I wonder if I can unlock Xnote here. No, you can't. Why would you think so? I've always wondered what the X in Xnote meant. Could it mean, could it mean the X Institute? Could it have possibly be a coincidence that both of them start with the letter X? I plug the USB flash drive into one of the computers. This isn't good. It just won't open. I guess it's not as easy as that, huh? Hmm. Huh? Hey, I've never seen you before. Oh, I'm a new student. You can call me Essie. What? I didn't hear anything about a new student transferring. How could I miss such juicy news? By the way, I'm uh, An Anon, your best informant of the school. I know about pretty much everything around here. You can always find me here if there's something you want to know. He's being a little too friendly. I can't handle this type well. Uh, no thanks. I have to go now. Hey, don't ignore me. I promise I won't bite. They say that I'm 70% of a nice guy after all. Okay, what about the 30%? A boy has to be a little bad or he won't get some love from the ladies. Yeah, just keep on using that logic. Uh, okay, um, I get it already. I'll find you whenever I have questions, alright? Let's leave. Uh, I really need to go. Gotcha. See you later. Um, hope I don't see you. Well, that's one strange guy. Maybe you know something about the school. I should probably ask him some other time. 
Where should I go next? Let's go to the corridor. This school is a lot bigger than I imagined. I hope I don't get lost. This is bad. I don't remember which way it came from. I should probably go ask someone. Um, excuse me? The boy in front of me is white from head to toe. He appears to be younger than I am. Did you just call me now? Yes, I'm sorry. I'm Lori. I don't remember where the entrance is. Oh, I think it should be right around there. Or was it over there? Oh, that's so cute. He's blushing. I'm sorry, I'm not familiar with this place either. It wasn't like this many years ago. Many years ago? This building has changed too mu so much that I can barely recognize it. Is that so? I don't know anything about X Institute other than the rumors. Rumors? What kind of rumors? I've heard that this school was a cover-up for alien sightings a while back. <laughs> His smile was so pure, like snow. I can't help but smile with him. Are you a student here? I'll be one soon. By the way, I'm Essie. I'm Oru. It's nice to meet you. Are you studying here too? Well, uh, I guess you could say that. Is it me, or was that a rather strange answer? Essie, it wasn't just you, it was pretty strange. Anyways, uh, I need to go now. Are you sure you're gonna be fine on your own? Yes, don't worry. You probably wouldn't be able to be any help. You didn't even know where to go. Okay, be careful. I don't usually get along with strangers, but Oru is a special case. I felt comfortable talking to him. It's a strange feeling. Where should I go next? Let's go to the classroom. I guess there aren't many people here on Sundays, huh? Makes sense. Hey you! Huh? You are not our school's student, are you? Outsiders are prohibited from entering the school. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm going to be a student of the school soon. They don't usually allow students to transfer at this time of the year. Well, I figured that was the case, but I couldn't do anything since he was pretty ad adamant about it. Who transferred you? I believe he called himself Yuan. Hmm? That child. I should have known. There was no one else who could pull off such a stunt. <sighs> In any case, my name is... Asia. I teach 2A. My name is Essie. I'm sorry for intruding, Miss A. I'll take my leave. I can't pronounce her name, so I'm just gonna gonna call her Miss A. I'm or I'm aware Yuan is anything but ordinary, but this has confirmed my suspicion. I better make sure he tells me everything. Yuan was waiting for me at the school's entrance. I'm sorry, I was bored waiting, so I decided to walk around. He wouldn't be mad over something like this, would he? Come. Mm, are, are you mad? Why would I be? I wandered around without your permission and I made you wait for me. Is that something to be mad about? To be honest, it's hard if he's angry or not. Or hard to tell. Especially with that kind of look. You all leads me to a room. I want to call it a normal office, but an office this messy is hardly normal well guys this is where i'm gonna stop it thank you guys so much for watching make sure you click that like button subscribe to my channel well see you guys soon